Welcome to Mystery Box Mondays. Today's box hit is going to be the plant watering system from Zetsubo no Shima. Zetsubo no Shima has its own exclusive plant watering system around the map. The plant harvest seems similar to the shadow harvest pods, but the system is completely different. Zombies will randomly drop seeds when killed, and you can hold up to three at a time. You can plant these seeds in any of these plant spots around the map. It takes three rounds for your plant to fully mature, and depending on how you water or fertilize your plant, the outcomes can be completely different. There are three different colored 115 waters around the map that you can use to water these plants for different outcomes. Also, the KT4 Wonder Weapon can be used as a fertilizer as well. Same goes for the upgraded version, the Massimune which is named after a medieval Japanese blacksmith widely acclaimed as Japan's greatest swordsmith in like the 1300s. Just a fun cool fact. You can get your blue water from Lab A, your green water from Lab B, and purple water in this room next to Pack-a-Punch here with all the hanging bodies in it where you get your Pack-a-Punch part. There is also rainbow water used to upgrade the KT4 plant, but when used on regular plants it just randomly makes it either a blue, green, or purple water. So you can water these plants three different times, being once per round. The water combinations and outcomes are, all three green gives you this plant that will hold crawlers for you, which is very, very nice for Easter egg steps or even just taking a break on co-op. All three blue will be a reward plant that gives you a power up or even a decent weapon. All three purple will make a plant that lures and kills zombies for you. Watering a plant once with all three colors will give you a fruit plant for a chance at a free perk. If you don't water a plant at all, it's a basic plant that can spawn a zombie or a grenade or even an MR6. You can also fertilize the reward plants with the KT4, increasing the chance of the plant to be a better reward. Now, to get the best plant feature, the imprint plant, which is why this is so high on my list, almost being number one. I've heard a couple different ways on how you're supposed to get this. Some have said you don't have to water the plant at all and just fertilize it with the moss immune and you should be getting it. I did not get it that way in my game. I've also heard you get it by using blue water and fertilizing it with the moss immune. And that's what I did in my game here and I got the imprint plant. This plant is crazy to me because it will make a clone of you and your loadout when you activate it. Which when you activate it you can see a little person of yourself growing in there which is pretty cool to me. And this is huge so if you die anytime at all or even in the boss fight you will respawn in this plant with the loadout you had when you activated it. You can have unlimited lives basically if you continue to make these plants. We have never had anything like this in zombies and probably never will again, which is why this is so cool to me. On Zetsubo 2 you can actually acquire a golden bucket which allows you to have unlimited water and choose what kind of water you have. And I have yet to get this thing so we're going to save that for another video someday. So thank you guys for watching, please like, comment, subscribe for more Mystery Box Monday videos every Monday.